Imagine a once vibrant tapestry, its colors rich and true, slowly fading under a relentless sun. Each thread, once a testament to the weaver's skill and dedication, now succumbs to the passage of time and the harshness of the elements. The threads, once strong and vibrant, become thin and brittle. They fray and snap, unable to withstand the pressures that once seemed inconsequential. This tapestry, now a shadow of its former self, serves as a poignant metaphor for a deeper, more troubling reality. The image, though simple, paints a chilling picture of a grave, spiritual reality, the great falling away. This is not merely a decline in religious fervor, but a profound and deliberate departure from the core tenets of faith that once unified and strengthened communities. This prophesied event, foretold in scripture, casts a long shadow over the landscape of the end times. It is a harbinger of the spiritual desolation that will characterize the final days, a time when the light of truth will be obscured by the encroaching darkness of deception and apostasy. The term apostasy might sound archaic, but its relevance today is undeniable. In an age where truth is often subjective and moral relativism reigns supreme, the concept of apostasy is more pertinent than ever. It signifies a conscious and willful rejection of the truth, a turning away from the principles that once guided and grounded individuals and societies. It speaks of a deliberate turning away from the truth, a rebellion against the very foundations of faith. This is not a passive drifting away, but an active and intentional choice to reject the teachings and values that have been handed down through generations. The Bible warns us that in the last days many will abandon the faith, seduced by counterfeit teachings and worldly allurements. These distractions, whether they come in the form of technology, media or other modern enticements, serve to pull individuals away from the truth and towards a path of spiritual ruin. This is not a peripheral issue, it is central to understanding the times we live in. The signs of apostasy are all around us, manifesting in the erosion of moral values, the rise of secularism and the increasing hostility towards religious beliefs and practices. The urgency of this issue cannot be overstated. As the world hurtles towards an uncertain future, the need for vigilance and discernment becomes ever more critical. We must be aware of the subtle and overt ways in which apostasy can infiltrate our lives and communities. Just as a watchman on the city walls sounds the alarm at the first sign of danger, so too must we be vigilant, recognizing the signs of this spiritual decline and clinging steadfastly to the truth. Our role is not just to protect ourselves, but to warn others and guide them back to the path of righteousness. The stakes are high, for eternity hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will have lasting repercussions, not just for ourselves, but for future generations. It is imperative that we remain steadfast in our faith, holding fast to the truths that have been revealed to us. The purpose of this essay is not to instill fear, but to awaken a holy vigilance. We are called to be watchful, to be discerning, and to be unwavering in our commitment to the truth. By doing so, we can navigate the challenges of these times with confidence and hope. By understanding the nature of this prophesied falling away, recognizing its signs, and embracing the biblical antidotes, we can stand firm in our faith and be beacons of light in an increasingly dark world. Our mission is to shine brightly, to offer hope and guidance to those who are lost, and to remain steadfast in our commitment to the truth no matter the cost. The Apostle Paul, writing to the church in Thessalonica, sounds a clear warning about the great falling away. This message, deeply rooted in his concern for the spiritual well-being of the believers, is as relevant today as it was in the first century. Paul, a man who had experienced profound transformation and divine revelation, felt compelled to address the misconceptions and fears that were spreading among the Thessalonians. In 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 at 3, he urges them not to be shaken or alarmed by rumors of the Lord's imminent return. These rumors were causing unrest and confusion, leading some to believe that the day of the Lord had already come. Paul, with his pastoral heart, wanted to reassure them and provide clarity. He emphasized that certain events must precede the return of Christ, and chief among them was the great apostasy. He assures them that a specific event must occur first, the great apostasy. This term, apostasy, refers to a significant falling away from the faith, a deliberate abandonment of the truth that had been once embraced. 
Paul's message was clear. The end times would be marked by a widespread departure from the core tenets of Christianity. This falling away, he explains, will usher in the man of lawlessness, the Antichrist, whose arrival will be marked by deception and a rejection of God. The Antichrist, a figure shrouded in mystery and foreboding, will rise to power not through sheer force, but through a calculated campaign of deceit. His influence will be pervasive, leading many astray and causing a profound spiritual crisis. This passage is crucial for several reasons. It serves as a prophetic roadmap, guiding believers through the tumultuous times ahead. Understanding this prophecy helps Christians remain steadfast and unshaken, even when faced with overwhelming deception and apostasy. First, it establishes that the falling away is not a random occurrence, but a deliberate part of God's end times plan. This apostasy is a significant marker in the divine timeline, indicating that God's sovereign plan is unfolding as foretold. It reminds believers that nothing happens outside of God's control, and that even the darkest times are part of his ultimate purpose. Second, it highlights the role of deception in this process. Deception will be the primary tool used by the Antichrist to lead people away from the truth. This deception will be so convincing that even some of the elect may be tempted to stray. It underscores the need for believers to be grounded in the truth of God's word, to discern truth from falsehood, and to remain vigilant against the subtle lies that will pervade society. The Antichrist will not rise to power through brute force alone, but through a cunning campaign of lies and distortions of the truth. His charisma and persuasive speech will captivate many, drawing them into a web of deceit. This serves as a warning to be wary of leaders who prioritize charisma over character and truth. The Antichrist's rise will be marked by a strategic manipulation of information, making it crucial for believers to be discerning and anchored in biblical truth. Third, Paul's words serve as a stark reminder that even within the church there will be those who succumb to these deceptions and turn away from the true faith. This internal falling away will be one of the most heartbreaking aspects of the end times. It will reveal the true nature of people's faith and their commitment to Christ. The church will face a sifting, separating those who are truly devoted from those who are not. Paul's warning underscores the importance of discernment and spiritual vigilance. In a world filled with distractions and false teachings, believers must be diligent in their pursuit of truth. This involves regular study of the scriptures, prayer, and a commitment to living out one's faith with integrity. Spiritual vigilance is not a passive state, but an active, ongoing effort to stay aligned with God's will. We must be like the Bereans, who examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true, Acts 17.11. The Bereans were commended for their noble character because they did not accept teachings at face value. Instead, they diligently searched the scriptures to verify the truth. This Berean approach is essential for believers today, as it fosters a deep, personal understanding of God's word and guards against deception. We cannot afford to be passive recipients of information, especially in an age awash with competing voices and ideologies. The modern world is saturated with information, much of it conflicting and misleading. Believers must be proactive in filtering this information through the lens of scripture. This means being critical of what we hear and see and always seeking God's wisdom in discerning the truth. We must test everything against the unchanging standard of God's word. The Bible is the ultimate authority and the standard by which all teachings and ideologies must be measured. By grounding ourselves in scripture, we can navigate the complexities of the modern world with confidence and clarity, holding fast to the truth in the midst of deception. The Apostle Paul, writing to his young protege Timothy, provides further insight into the nature of the great falling away. In 1 Timothy 4.1.2, he warns of a time when people will turn away from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. These demonic teachings, he explains, will be characterized by hypocrisy, false asceticism, and a rejection of God's good gifts. This passage highlights the spiritual dimension of the apostasy. It is not merely a matter of intellectual disagreement or changing social mores. It is a deliberate assault on truth orchestrated by demonic forces seeking to draw people away from God. These seducing spirits use cunning and deception to distort God's word, promoting false teachings that appeal to the flesh and pander to human desires. 
The reference to doctrines of demons should give us pause. It reminds us that we are engaged in a spiritual battle, a conflict between the forces of light and darkness. Our adversary, the devil, is a master deceiver and he will stop at nothing to lead people astray. This is why we must be vigilant, discerning the spirits and testing every teaching against the plumb line of scripture. Jesus, in his Olivet Discourse, paints a vivid picture of the last days. He speaks with authority and compassion, warning his followers about the trials and tribulations that will come. His words are not just a prophecy, but a call to vigilance and faithfulness. In Matthew 24, 10, 12, he warns that lawlessness will abound and the love of many will grow cold. This is not just a distant future event, but a reality that we can see unfolding in our world today. The increase in lawlessness is evident in the rising crime rates, the breakdown of moral values and the general sense of chaos that pervades society. This societal and spiritual decline, he explains, will be marked by betrayal, hatred and a widespread rejection of God's truth. Families are torn apart, friendships are shattered and communities are divided. The sense of unity and love that once held society together is being replaced by suspicion and animosity. False prophets will arise, deceiving many with their counterfeit teachings and empty promises. These false teachers exploit the fears and uncertainties of the times, offering quick fixes and easy answers that lead people further away from the truth. They prey on the vulnerable, those who are desperate for hope and meaning in a world that seems increasingly devoid of both. This passage provides a sobering glimpse into the social and spiritual climate of the end times. It is a time of great turmoil and upheaval where the very foundations of society are being shaken. The empty church pews symbolize a growing disinterest in spiritual matters as people turn away from God and seek fulfillment in worldly pursuits. We see a world increasingly characterized by lawlessness, selfishness and a disregard for God's standards. The signs of decay are all around us in the crumbling infrastructure, the neglected communities and the pervasive sense of hopelessness. People are more concerned with their own desires and ambitions than with the well-being of others. The fabric of society unravels as love grows cold and relationships are fractured by suspicion and mistrust. The bonds that once held people together are weakening and the sense of community is eroding. This is a time of great loneliness and isolation where people are more connected than ever through technology, but more disconnected in their hearts. In this environment of moral decay, false teachings flourish, finding fertile ground in the hearts of those who have rejected the truth. These teachings offer a semblance of hope and purpose, but ultimately lead to greater confusion and despair. The tearing of pages from the Bible symbolizes the rejection of God's word and the embrace of falsehood. While these signs can be discouraging, they also serve as a stark reminder of the urgency of the hour. The sunrise over this city represents the hope that still exists, the light that can break through the darkness. It is a call to action, to be vigilant and to stand firm in our faith. We must be about our Father's business, sharing the gospel with a lost and dying world while there is still time. The work of evangelism is more important than ever as people are searching for answers and hope. The outreach events and the distribution of Bibles are ways to reach out to those who are lost and to bring them the message of salvation. Let us not grow weary in well-doing, but let us be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. The power of prayer and the study of God's Word are essential in these times. Community projects and acts of service are ways to demonstrate God's love and to build bridges in a divided world, knowing that our labor is not in vain in the Lord, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. The worshiping congregation and the sense of accomplishment after a task remind us that our efforts are meaningful and that God is with us. The peaceful sunset symbolizes the hope and peace that come from trusting in God's promises and being faithful to his calling.